coming up on today's Disney Roundup, Disney Cruise Line shows a preview of their newest ship, Animal Kingdom Park Maps no longer list Vessel of the Lion King or Finding Nemo the Musical, and Gideon's Bakehouse opens in Disney Springs. I have all that and more for you coming up right here on the DRU. Hey everyone, Jeff here and welcome to the Disney Roundup where I bring you up to date with all the latest Disney and Disney Parks news each and every single week. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive the Disney Roundup each and every single week. Starting with Outside the Parks news this week, over at Disney Springs, the new and already very popular Gideon's Bakehouse is now open. Gideon's opened last week with a soft opening on December 23rd, and you can find Gideon's in the landing portion of Disney Springs beside Wine Bar George, which is open most days from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. For the time being, though, for entering Gideon's, you'll need to join a virtual wait list once arriving to get in. Gideon's is famous for their handmade almost half pound cookies which take almost 24 hours to make. Cookies on their menu include the original chocolate chip cookie, pistachio chocolate chip, cookies and cream, triple chocolate chip, peanut butter crunch, and a coffee cake cookie which is a Disney Springs exclusive. Monthly limited edition flavors will be served as well. Other than cookies, they also serve cake slices, sodas, coffee, and other limited edition items. Let me know though if you'll be going to Gideon's Bakehouse on your next trip to Disney Springs. There's a lot of new places I still haven't got to try at Disney World yet, but this definitely will be one of them. And on Christmas Day, during the Disney Parks Magical Christmas Day celebration, Disney released a brand new video showcasing the new cruise ship, the Disney Wish, which is set to set sail in 2022. This video showcases new details of the Grand Hall and a first look at the character statue at the base of the Grand Staircase, an iconic Disney princess whose faith in her dreams has inspired generations to believe in the power of their own. Inspired by the beauty of a fairy tale castle, the Grand Hall makes a bold, welcoming statement, setting the tone for an enhanced family vacation from the moment guests step on board the Disney Wish. It is a perfect setting for Cinderella, whose timeless story for the perfect example of magic transforming wishes into dreams and dreams into reality. The Disney Wish is the first of three new ships joining the Disney Cruise Line fleet through 2025. All three ships will be powered by liquefied natural gas at approximately 144,000 gross tons and 1,250 guest staterooms will be slightly larger than the Disney Dream and Disney Fantasy. Now for Parks News. As Disney prepares for the soon to be opening of Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, they have shared a new preview of the attraction. Well known on TikTok, Emily Jacobson wrote a song about Remy and posted a video online of herself singing it. The clip quickly became a worldwide social media phenomenon, inspiring others to share their love for the little chef through the music. To celebrate her joy and creativity, during Emily's recent Walt Disney World vacation, she was taken backstage at Epcot for a surprise sneak peek of Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, which is still set to debut sometime in 2021 in the newly reimagined France Pavilion. Based on Disney and Pixar's hit film Ratatouille, the family-friendly attraction will invite guests to shrink down to the size of a rat for a culinary adventure with Remy racing across Gusteau's kitchen floor. In addition to her first look at the new attraction, Emily got a first wear of the special ear headband inspired by Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. The headband will be available for purchase in 2021. And if you want to check out Emily's first look experience with Disney Imagineers of Remy's Ratatouille Adventure coming to Epcot, I'll make sure to leave a link to that in the description down below. Now, with most stage shows and entertainment still haven't returned to Walt Disney World, Disney has begun removing some of those on their entertainment list offerings. Recently spotted by WDW News Today, Vessel of the Lion King and Finding Nemo the Musical are no longer listed in Animal Kingdom Park maps. 
Park maps still have the building those shows are still performed in, but just no longer have them listed under the attractions or experiences. Now, when checking the Walt Disney World website and the My Disney Experience app, both of these shows still appear, but are listed as temporarily unavailable. From what it looks like, Disney has just updated the inside of the park maps for the time being. You'll also notice on the front of the map now also features guests wearing face coverings. So this seems to be and hopefully is just a temporary thing since both shows are temporarily unavailable, most likely since those cast members were let go like many others months ago. Let me know what you think though in the comments down below. I don't think it's foresighting anything as everyone will tell you both of these shows and especially Festival of the Lion King are the heart of these parks, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now previously in Hollywood Studios, it was spotted that some attractions are seating every row now that looks to be the case in animal kingdom at its most popular attraction it seems walt disney world is continuing to move on with their later stages of the phased reopening as now avatar flight of passage in animal kingdom is now sitting every seat for each flight when Walt Disney World began its phased reopening, Flight of Passage was seating guests in every other seat, leaving an empty space in between. Now, while Walt Disney World has not released an official update on what stage of the reopening they're in, Blog Mickey said when speaking to an operations manager, they said that empty seats between guests were no longer required. Now, to my knowledge, as of now, Flight of Passage and Animal Kingdom and Slinky Dog Dash and Rock and Roller Coaster are the current attractions in Walt Disney World to seat every row or seat without plexiglass barriers in between them. Let me know what you think in the comments down below though. Just out of speculation, it appears Disney is moving forward with their reopening, possibly meaning nighttime shows and fireworks could come back sooner than later, like maybe in the spring. I think when they first come back, they might be shorter versions of the original shows, kind of like instead of the long parades. Now Disney just has the short cavalcades go by, so a lot of people aren't crowded in the same area for a great period of time. Now the last update given for max park capacity was said to be 35%, but who knows if that's still the case, especially with park hopping coming back right in the beginning of 2021. So we'll just have to wait and see what 2021 brings. All right, everyone. Well, that's all I have for you for this week's episode of the Disney Roundup. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive the Disney Roundup each and every single week. That's all I have for you for this week. Until next time, we'll see you on the DRU. Thank mm -hmm. you.